Welcome, everybody. It is a final score, 34-7. to seven. The Miners drop their Conference USA opener to Southern Mississippi. And uh, the Miners, 1-3, 0-1 and oh and in Conference USA. There's Augustine. This is just for you, Augustine. No, it's not really. But uh, Southern Miss improving to 3. Augustine, no, it's not really. But uh, Southern Miss improving to 3-1 and one and 1-0 one and oh in conference play after dropping a big one last week to Troy, which absolutely clobbered New Mexico State today uh, earlier. Uh, 34 to 7, and uh, I'm not quite sure what you say about that. It looked promising. It looked promising, honestly, in the first quarter when uh, Aaron Jones had a 68 yard touchdown run. It was two handoffs to Aaron Jones, and, and the Miners had scored uh, two plays, 93 yards, the time of possession, 42 seconds, and it was 7 3 at that point. And things were looking pretty good for UTEP. But then Southern Miss rattled them off. And that was uh, basically it. Southern Miss did open with a field goal with 9.20 remaining in the first. But then in the second quarter, all USM. And really, it was a disastrous finish to the first half that did the Miners in, I think. Um, D.J. Thompson, six-yard pass from Nick Mullins. Uh, that made it uh, 10, to th- 10 to 7, Southern Miss. And that was with 6.39 left in the half. Then the Miners lose it. Ito Smith, 28-yard pass from Mullins, uh, Nick Mullins, to make it 17-7. to And then uh, USM, after a, a horrible, horrible pick six, well, it was uh, actually, that was in the third quarter, but uh, Staggers, a three-yard pass from Mullins, that was after another interception. And uh, then to open up the third quarter, Miners drive all the way down. They are inside the 10-yard line. And um, sadly, Zach Greenley throws a pick six. And uh, Curtis Michael takes it 100 yards. He was actually about four or five yards deep in the end zone. Interception, return for the touchdown, 31-7, to and that was it. They tacked on one more field goal, Sean Field, from 46 yards out. That was uh, with 12-01 left in the fourth quarter. And, uh, yeah, the Miners find themselves really behind the eight ball going to Louisiana Tech next week. That is a huge, huge Conference USA game. And uh, you know, Sean Kugler has to find a way to, to really turn the tables on this season. And I'm not sure it's going to happen necessarily. I, you know, it could. The Miners have responded well in the past, but uh, that is not happening right now. And now at one and three, four games in the Conference USA opener, uh, it's not good. And uh, UTEP is having its issues. You know, Aaron Jones uh, is certainly shown he's capable. He rushed for 100 yards twice in the game. <laughs> we, we thought it was very interesting. He ran for over 100 yards, then lost a bunch. Go ahead, Augustine. Go ahead. You can laugh all you want. But uh, they rushed for, he rushed for over 100 yards, then lost a whole bunch of yards, went back under 100, and then gained 100 again. So uh, it was uh, twice over 100 yards uh, for Aaron Jones. And, and he still is, I mean, he's a star. You saw it tonight. You saw it tonight. The kid's good. Aaron Jones, 16 carries. 127 yards. He did lose nine, and that was that uh, bad span in the second uh, quarter. Uh, he kind of went back and forth a little bit, but the net was 127. He did have the touchdown, the big 68-yarder uh, for six, and and he looked solid as always. But the Miners' defense, you know, Southern Miss actually on third down conversion, seven of 16. They finished below 500, but in the first half, and that was the big key, the first half. They were at one point five of six, five of seven on third down conversions. They kept getting in third and longs and then kept getting first downs. And UTEP just could not get off the field. And that hurt, especially uh, in that really big swing there in the second quarter uh, where they scored, geez, they scored three touchdowns in about uh, five and a half minutes. They're in the second quarter late with 639 left. They went up to make it uh, 10 to seven. And then it was 17 to seven, and then it was 24 to seven, and then the miners get deep and throw the pick six for 100 yards, and then it was 31 to seven, and that's all she wrote. Um, UTEP committing penalties, key penalties that just killed drives uh, in the second quarter, and especially in the third quarter. Uh, it seemed like at one point when Aaron Jones got tackled roughly out of bounds that uh, maybe the referees missed one, maybe the officials missed uh, what should have been an unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, for, for the way they really, you know, kind of roughed up Aaron Jones on the sideline. He had to take a seat. He was out for the, you know, for the timeout. They had a TV timeout and then came back the very next play. Uh, so he was there, but um, the Miners, as a collective, as a team, certainly weren't. 
I don't think you could say they gave up necessarily. I think the defense was out once again way too long, uh, just like they were against Army, not quite, not nearly as bad as that one last weekend. But uh, it was it was tough going for UTEP. You look at time of possession. Let's see. That's always a key stat, especially for UTEP's ball control offense. Uh, time of possession. I'm not going to find it there. Total offense. Let's see possession time. Miners lose that battle, 32-28 for USM, 27-32 for the Miners. That is always a key stat, something that Sean Kugler always points to as one of the ways his team is going to win. The Miners were not able to generate offense. And Zach Greenley, after the pick six in the third quarter, benched in favor of Ryan Metz, uh, Ryan Metz rather, and Kavika Johnson. A couple of area kids, of course, Metz played uh, his ball at Andrus and Kavika just up the road in Las Cruces uh, from Mayfield High. But... Um, yeah, uh, the Miners were just not able to generate offense. And, and, of course, Aaron Jones, he got that 68-yarder, and then it was all kind of downhill from there as uh, UTEP falls to 1-3. and three. Um, Your comments are certainly welcome if you want to chime in uh, during this periscope, but I I'm not sure really what else to say. When it comes to passing, well, USM, you know, it was ball control for them too. <laughs> Only 176 yards for Mullins. Uh, I think Mullins did a pretty solid job at quarterback. Uh, it was uh, a, a lot of rushing and carrying, and, and certainly USM is probably a little more physical than UTEP. That certainly showed, I think, uh, later in the second half. Um, Ito Smith does get over 109, uh, over over 100 yards. He got 108 net on 16 carries, an average of 6.8 per carry. That's a big one. Didn't have any touchdowns, but it didn't matter. Uh, Nick Mullins, 16 of 27, so a little bit over 50%. 176 yards and three TDs. Uh, he was clutch when it counted, put the ball where it needed to go when it counted. UTEP could not do that when it counted. Uh, Zach Greenley and Ryan Metz, 7 of 14, each of them, uh, and the two interceptions, that's what shows for Zach Greenley, who, I, I, you know, the, the pick six, you could see it coming. He threw it into double coverage. It was a soft screen. It was an easy pick and uh, a 100-yard return for touchdown. Uh, and that really was the thing that, that, that drove in the nail. And we didn't see uh, Zach Greenlee the rest of the night. It was Ryan Metz's show. But a lot of the passes that Ryan Metz, he got rid of the ball fast, but maybe a little too fast. I don't know. I, you know, he's going for the open receiver, certainly. But uh, a lot of those were pretty short passes. And, and I remember the fourth down play, a couple of fourth down plays UTEP was trying to convert. The pass was well underneath the first down marker. And... Um, yeah, UTEP, I, I think for all of Aaron Jones' uh, helpfulness and, and, and his running ability, quarterback is a key position, and if you can't pass the football effectively to get yourself out of situations, well, then it's not going to work. There were a few drops as well. Um, uh, one very telling drop, I think, uh, receiving, and, and that was um, Hayden Klinke. Uh, it could have been a big first down, and, and certainly he caught a big one earlier. That was pretty solid. I thought the receivers did a decent job when they had the opportunity. Uh, some high throws and stuff. Quarterback play not great for UTEP tonight, and I think the quarterbacks would be the first to tell you that. Uh, Zach Greenlee and Ryan Metz, obviously, you throw two interceptions, including a pick six. Uh, there was the, the other one in the second quarter that really put UTEP in the, in the bind uh, that got USM up by 24-7 to seven at the half. That was a key. So Zach Greenlee in the, in the late second and early third quarters just, I mean, that was not good, and the two picks, including the pick six, that was not good. You know, you, you hate to repeat yourself, but that's kind of the way it was. And Ryan Metz, you know, 7 of 14, he, he did what he needed to do, uh, had a long of 14 yards, and that was it. The throws down the field, deep throws were not open. They weren't really there. And uh, the Miners, yeah, it's just, uh, it's going to, they're between a rock and a hard place right now uh, as UTEP falls to 1-3 and three overall, 0-1 oh in Conference USA play, Southern Miss improving to 3-1, and 1-0 one. One and oh, uh, in the conference. And uh, when, you, when you're looking ahead at Louisiana Tech, when you're looking ahead at the minor schedule, it's, it's really kind of do-or-die time now for, for Sean Kugler. I think a lot of folks thought that the minors had a, an opportunity based on last year to go to a bowl. Well, this was, uh, it, albeit, Army, solid. Weird facing triple option, but um, for UTEP, when you're when you're talking about the Miners and and uh, and what they needed to do to open Conference USA play, you, you saw UTEP do very well in the second quarter. They did solidly. Uh, they they did themselves well. They you know 
they were holding the ball, they were driving, they were doing all of that, and then key penalties would take them out. I, I think the penalties is going to that's going to be something that, that Sean Cooper is very upset with because they were absolutely key penalties. Holds, offensive pass interference uh, that would have on a play that would have gotten the Miners a first down. It was a third and long, and the Miners had converted, and an offensive pass interference on Cole Freitag puts him right back. And uh, Freitag, for his part, when he had an opportunity to catch the ball, did very well. When the receivers had an opportunity to catch the ball, they did well. But uh, the throws were high, and, and the quarterback play was not great. And that's not a good position to be in uh, when you're competing against uh, a team, an Eagles team, that is really one of the tops in Conference USA and probably the favorite in the East Division of Conference USA. And again, your comments are welcome if you want to do that. Otherwise, we'll, we'll kind of wrap things up here from the Sun Bowl. Not a lot you can say about 34-7, is there? And it's Louisiana Tech next week for UTEP, and uh, certainly um, it's between a rock and a hard place. Again, the Miners have responded well, but we thought that after big losses last year when they did respond well, rattled off four in a row, uh, had an opportunity perhaps to, to get bowl eligible. It did not happen, but, uh, but UTEP did very well uh, when their backs were against the wall. Tonight, it did not happen. And uh, the monster, my friend. The monster is on with me on Periscope. Good evening, my friend, and best of luck to the uh, to the Cowboys tomorrow. You know, you know, Mondo the Monster is still doing his thing down at Speaking Rock, and uh, the Manster, the Monster, and the Manster are going to be at Speaking Rock Entertainment Center tomorrow. So join them down there if you if you like Dallas Cowboys football, you need to go party with the Monster at Speaking Rock. Uh, uh, Speaking Rock. Uh, well, it's not even Speaking Rock Entertainment Center. It's just Speaking Rock. I say, okay, yes, that would be me. And um, that's going to be fun. That's always a fun party. And the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders they have there at the Speaking Rock, they're fun to watch. The Monster's always fun to watch, and they give you money when the Cowboys score. So, you know, go check it out. If you're a Cowboys fan, you owe it to yourself at least to go to one of these. And down at Speaking Rock, you'll probably be back. The Monster and the Manster tomorrow. As for UTEP, 34-7. I mean, I think for UTEP, it's, I don't know if it's a case, you know, being an Oklahoma Sooners fan, you watch the Oklahoma Sooners play, and I, I thought that uh, uh, they were overrated. I mean, it's clear now, but uh, really thought that, you, the, you know, the, the Oklahoma kind of needed to prove itself a little bit. Um, they certainly got schooled by Clemson in, uh, in the semifinals, and, uh, and I think that, you know, the losses to Ohio State, uh, uh, earlier just last week, the o Sooners had an open day. It was pretty clear that, th that they were very overrated. UTEP, I I'm not sure that you could say they were overrated. I think folks had hopes that the, that the Miners could get to a bowl, and maybe USM is just better than we think they are. Certainly Army was better than we think they are. Uh, thought, we, well, thought they were, I guess, uh, going into the game last week. And, and maybe this is just some kind of weird thing where the Miners have faced a couple of really good teams, or Army a pretty good team, and USM almost as good, and maybe everything's gravy for UTEP, but Louisiana Tech, that's a tough test, especially with a team kind of with its tail between its legs right now. The crowd this evening <laughs> listed two th uh, 21,419. That was the crowd this evening. That was the official crowd this evening. Of course, uh, that includes season ticket holders. There were not, uh, there were not nearly that many people here. I'd say maybe 18, solid 18. Most of the stands on uh, the press box side of the field where we are were pretty full. It was uh, relatively empty. Uh, a lot of the bowl area was pretty empty. You know, maybe 17 or 18 actual attendance. But um, it's not going to get any better unless the Miners certainly uh, win next week at Louisiana Tech. That's a tough chore. The, the Miners have never really done well there in less than Louisiana against the Bulldogs of La Tech which have come into Conference USA and, uh, and wreaked some havoc. They've, they've done very well for themselves there in the, the Piney Woods uh, in North Louisiana. So uh, the Miners hard up against it. How will Sean Kugler and his team respond? We know Kugler doesn't give up. I saw the Miners' defense out making plays when they could, uh, but USM a very good team, and they wore UTEP down a little bit like Army did, and that showed the longer into the game they went. Uh, and that's you know, kind of the drive to finish out the game. That was exactly the way it went, uh, and that was with the third-string quarterback and a lot of the second-string guys, and USM still marched up the field and, and uh, classily took a knee to finish out the game uh, against the Miners. 34-7 is your final score. 
Uh, if you have any other questions, I'll hang out for about another 30 seconds to a minute. Otherwise, we'll wrap this thing up and, and put it to bed because <laughs> it needs to go to bed. 34-7, to 7, your final score. Uh, Southern Miss all over UTEP as the Golden Eagles improve to 3-1, and one, get started off on the right foot in Conference USA at 1-0. and 0. The UTEP Miners 1-3, and 0-1. Oh Te washo, indeed. Cuídate. Be careful out there. And uh, we'll see if uh, the Miners can, can get it uh, righted, at least get the ship righted. If, if, if they have a decent effort against Louisiana Tech, those will be the toughest. The Southern Miss and Louisiana Tech are the toughest teams maybe in the conference. They may meet in the, in the CUSA championship game. Louisiana Tech for the West, Southern Miss in the East. We'll see. Um, but it doesn't get uh, a whole lot better next week for UTEP having to travel the rest of Louisiana. From the Sun Bowl, again, your final score, Southern Miss 34, UTEP 7. I'm Duke Keith. So long, everybody.